It is a science in which the past and the history of our ancestors are studied and interesting secrets are preserved. And people who dig around in the ground with all kinds of tools and brushes call themselves archaeologists. In Generation UA, young people will tell about the knowledge that true professionals must possess. For some, archaeology was in the past a hobby for youth, while for others it became an occupation or a profession, and for some it is probably more a state of mind and spirit. Although archaeologists joke among themselves that archaeology is some kind of a diagnosis, it's hard to say that certain special people get into archaeology. Nevertheless, one should be willing to search, always be ready to live in non-urban conditions and have the ability to achieve and correctly interpret their results. Students of historical faculties and related departments go through an archaeology course, and all of them have an archaeological internship. But for some, it's just a stage of studying, according to the curriculum, while for other students it inevitably becomes something one of their favorite occupations. This is the camp of the Northern Archaeological Expedition. The expedition members live in these containers. They have fairly comfortable double beds that will never be harmful for their backs, as they're basically boards with mattresses on top. For those who prefer the more extreme side of things, there is the option of sleeping in tents. This is where we rest. We cook our food on this oven. You can observe the process of cooking taking place right now. And this is exactly the place where you have lunch, dinner and breakfast. Such is the way of life of the members of Northern Archaeological Expeditions. I got into archaeology four years ago, when I enrolled into the historical faculty of Kyiv Taras Shevchenko University. I had an archaeological internship, which really hooked me. I also really like the process of archaeological expeditions and research. It's a very useful thing in basic historical education, because any professional historian might not become a highly qualified archaeologist, but they must know how it's done, what is done, and know the basics of how to conduct archaeological excavations to preserve even the smallest cultural heritage. I like the excavation process itself because I enjoy finding artifacts, remains of the cultural activities of people of the past that could be 500 or 1000 years old. Archaeology shows that history is a rather complex science. You have to dig out lots of cubic meters of earth in order to find one fragment of, for example, a ceramic or an iron relic. I would really like to be an archaeologist, even though the prospects are not the best, but I still love archaeology, and I would like to engage in it at a higher level, and not just in excavation, but also in the theoretical work. I am interested in archaeology because, unlike history, it's a science with a field background that we can see here. It's not just a study and an archive. There are field conditions, some basic elements of survival, sometimes not basic, depending on the expedition and unity with nature. Thank you.
Я закупився археологією. I got interested in archaeology quite recently. It was in the first year of the university. I planned to study in a different field prior to that. Я планував займатися Другою світовою. I planned to study the Second World War, but my preferences changed and I started studying the Lower Paleolithic era when things occurred in the time frame from a million to 150,000 years ago in early humanity. Why did that happen? It is likely that the teachers of the archaeology department had some influence as I found those people to be very pleasant and I had a strong desire to work in a team with them. To become an archaeologist, one must enroll in one of the profile departments of several universities. The leading one among those is the Department of Archaeology and Museology of the Taras Shevchenko Kyiv National University. Actually, the specialists in this sphere have been trained by many universities. Historical faculties provide basic education and then people specialize in a specific area. First of all, you have to know history, the methodology of field research, the methodology of material processing, know the materials themselves, and preferably have some knowledge in related disciplines. For instance, investigating burial mounds without anthropological or biological knowledge, or investigating furnaces for utensil burning or iron extraction from bog war would be more difficult. Like in any field, you do need a certain level of experience that you receive during archaeological activities. Anyone who knows how to dig with a shovel can take part in excavations. The excavation process itself is simple, and anyone can join it, because there is always a specialist who will tell and show what to do. You might need basic education to do it professionally, but that doesn't stop anyone. I'm currently studying in the fifth year of the Taras Shevchenko National University, majoring in history. I took part in archaeological excavations in the Hodosievka expedition. I also participated in excavations in Baturin. I studied at the Taras Shevchenko Kyiv National University, and I graduated with a master's degree in archaeology this year. However strange it might sound, there was nothing difficult. I'm going to remember those times as very good times that I spent with good people and spent it on researching very interesting topics. In addition to archaeologists as such, there are certain adjacent specialties, like anthropologists who research human remains recovered during excavations. Bioarchaeology is a wider field with zoologists, paleobotanists and so on. Archaeology itself also has narrower specializations because the specificity of certain ancient objects requires certain more specialized knowledge. Accordingly, when studying the monuments of the Stone Age, you need to know the specifics of the life of primitive man. When it comes to ancient monuments of the Northern Black Sea region, respectively, you need to know the ancient culture. There is narrow specialization in archaeology, beginning with specialists in the Stone Age who study the primitive man, and ending with experts in the field of medieval studies who explore medieval settlements. There is a lot to find in Ukraine if you want to. You can find any culture of any period, starting from the ancient Paleolithic era, when people just appeared, all the way to the period of Kievan Rus, which our expedition is working on. I am interested in the Cossack period, which was a bit later. It is not considered classic archaeological material, but I like it, and it's useful, because it shows the realities of the past years and the past centuries. 
Я б не сказав, щоб в мене були якісь... I wouldn't say that I have any preferences for a certain region. But I would like to have the opportunity to dig in the south of Ukraine, in Crimea. There is an archaeological reconnaissance in the process of which newly found monuments are searched for and recorded. There are excavations that are explored with a specific target program to obtain knowledge about a certain ethnos. This whole process includes both the field archaeological research that is directly related to excavation, desk work, and the processing of materials, which are also multi-structured, that is washing, decryption, graphic and photographic recording. The next stage is the so-called laboratory and desk studies, during which the materials are being worked on not in the field. This is the drafting of scientific reports, because in the end we destroy the monument with our excavations. Therefore, we must describe everything that we saw in great detail, according to our documentation. My very first excavation was exploring the Kievan Rus. I remember it quite well, because I was really new to this. I made a slight mistake and was scolded for it. But that was an experience that taught me to do my job properly. I made a technical error. I dug deeper than I had to and possibly lost some material that would have been better left in its place. I managed to find a classic. It was ceramics, a material that can often be found. My impressions were really positive. Classic historians are one thing. They read texts, but when you find a material that is probably a thousand years old, maybe a bit less, and hold it in your hands, it is quite amazing and inspiring. My first expedition was in 2013, the Medjubizh expedition. The town is located in Khmelnytsky region. We explored the lower Paleolithic era there and lived on the territory of the castle. The excavations took place outside the castle. The atmosphere was great there. On the one hand, we lived in tents outside the castle. On the other hand, we went out into the field all the time. We went out from the territory of the castle in the morning and returned at night. It was a standard combination of a bonfire, guitar playing and mosquitoes. No expeditions could be without such forms of entertainment and relaxation. None of the finds were particularly interesting for an ordinary person because there were small chipped stones. But if for an ordinary person it is just a stone chipped on one or both sides, for an archaeologist it's a source of information. Thus we expanded the idea of the chronology of the lower Paleolithic era of Ukraine and added another exhibit to it. Unfortunately, the science of archaeology is not living through its best times in our country. Archaeology, after all, has good prospects in the future. I always want to go abroad, as it's a new experience and a different culture. So we have to dig deeper and a bit differently than we do here. I would like to go to Turkey, to the areas where the first civilizations appeared. It would be interesting to see how it all happened and how different it is from the ancient civilization we have here in Ukraine. I would like to visit excavations in the Old Dubai Gorge area. It's the place where the humanity originated, and I believe that it is most likely the ancestral home of mankind. Thank you.